Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Snakewood. I hope you guys have enjoyed the past couple of episodes with the glitch remixes. I know I have. I really enjoy the remixes. Um, and the reason for that is because, well, I'm getting really tired of this game. It has been going on for a really long time, and I've dealt with it up to this point. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that you have to do to defeat the game. And turns out we're not even close to being finished, we could have probably three, four, maybe five more episodes, I don't know. And it's very frustrating. But we will get into that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and continue on because there is story, big story that comes up. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy, the Cynex guy. So let's go ahead and see what he has to say. Since we had defeated Cynex. Now, to erase you from history, you will never even have been born. Uh... Uh... This is what Marty felt like at the under the sea ball. Wait a minute. Uh, it stopped. And hello, I got that reference. What Delvery is this? Who dares interfere with my power? You. 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 Him. Me. I have a haiku for you. You want to hear it? Confound your Afro masters and your insanity. I do not wish to hear your haiku. My haiku goes like this. My fist of justice. Did you redo pump action blast? Okay, well, uh... Curse this antic disposition. It deflects all of my dark spells. Well, would you like to hear another haiku, friends? Asimov, you're alive! And you are one of the Deadly Seven, and you just took out those people. I might actually like you guys now. I cannot die, for I am the unutterably monoxious accordion thief. Yep. You're entirely back to normal. Wait. Okay. Did he not throw him off the edge? <laughs> I'm not done yet. There's still one more thing I can do. No, not that. Yes, that. What? He's going to bake a cake. What? What you're really up to, Cynix? Baking a cake. Let me see. Flour. Ghost. Only you can stop him now. I've done as much as I can, but it's up to you to do the rest. What is this? Two large eggs. Don't let him get to the water. Doesn't that go in first? And the water. What is this insanity? Demirora sugar. Oh, my sainted aunt. Go stop him. This is your attendant speaking. The elevator has arrived. What elevator? Where? Don't let him get in. Lift going down. Uh, no! What in the world is going on here? Asimov? Yo. What is going on? What happened? Listen. I don't hear anything. Exactly. Even the background music has stopped. It's over, Ghost. By baking the cake, Sinus has destroyed Hoenn. No. That... I can't. How can we have failed? I understand you must feel how you must feel. But it is over, Ghost. Hoenn is gone. Only the people who caught Cynex's elevator survived. You, me, and, uh... And Cynex. Yes, and him. Uh, are you alright? I'm just peachy, Kate. The world is my oyster. Uh, that's a quote, except I don't believe in vampires. It, it can't be. How weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable. It is, it is. Seem to me all the uses of this world. Ghost, this is it. This is what the prophecy was about. Even Dr. Feelgood couldn't help me now. Oh my god, Ghost, you've fulfilled the prophecy. You've gained full access to Cutlerine's knowledge of references, the pop culture nexus itself. Huh? No way, I can't. I can't. I have this sort of power? It's true. Think back to the last few things you said. we have They've all been references. Oh, and when I killed a sow... I did it by exposing what he was a reference to. Exactly. But this changes nothing. It's still hopeless. 
No, it isn't. Here, take the cigar. Why are you giving me this? Do I stutter? Another perfect cryptic reference. Come on, with this sort of power, we can actually defeat Xenex. But what about fixing Hoenn? The power of the reference is limited only by the number of ideas already used, as long as there is some way that this sort of situation has been resolved before in another story, we can do it again here using references. Well, all right, let's do this and kill that nasty old guy. Right on. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who survived. Please feel free to mourn the ruins of your native land while I destroy Asimov again. Grr. Ghost, how dare you do that to my precious underling, Punch? Uh, oh, that was me. I was talking. What was that? Referential attack, but how? Who do you think I am? Oh, now we kicking him. Uh, the, the prophecy. That blasted oracle. These attacks are powerful beyond reason. Kick reason to the curb and do the impossible. Huh? Nothing happened. Just be careful. You can't reference the same thing too many times or it will cease to have effect. And that is the very reason you cannot defeat me. You may be stronger and have access to all the references the cutlering does, but I am infinitely more experienced. I do not have many references to use, but I know how to use them well. Now, twas Breeling and the Slithy. Ooh, that sounds like Charizard. What was that? Oh no, it's a strong one. Watch out, ghost. It's whiffling here right now. Did Gyre and Gimbal in the Wabe... What is it? What's coming? He is the Jabberwock. Such a high-level move. I need a good reference to combat it. Got it. Hurry, ghost. Come on, Asimov. I'll hand you the... I'll land you with care. What? No, surely your power isn't so great. This is just a place for a, a snark. No, you fool! Ghost, close your eyes. What? The snark is coming in response to your reference. Don't ever look at it. You can't force me to look at it either, Asimov. This is a stalemate. What? No, unhand me. Let go of my eyes. Never. Ghost, keep going. It's almost here, Ghost. You know what to do. All right, we're going to shut our eyes. In the midst of the wor word he was trying to say, in the midst of his laughter and glee, he had softly and suddenly vanished away, for the snark was a bujum, you see. They're gone. The bujum worked. What do I do now? Put Hoenn back? I'd better bring Asimov back, too. Let's see. Oh, that's it. All I need to do is use this atlas. Gina, this reference is so handy. Here comes a massive, improbable plot device. Complete Atlas. Activate. Okay! Well, that was really, really, really weird. Which is what this game has been the whole entire time, but... I think we just saved the world. Ah, ghost, what happened? It's over, everybody. It's over. It's over. It's over. I beat Sinex with the help of Asimov. Police and Tamulance have gone, been gone for good, and everything's fine. Hooray! Wait. What is it? I've still got reports of zombies. Uh, that's my fault. I restored Hoenn to the state before Sinex destroyed it. That nasty old necromancer is gone, but those zombies would still be there. Uh, that's bad. Can't imagine why that should be. Well, well, we'll soon mop them up without Cynex to stop us. That's true. I've got a message. Let's hear it. It's from the Deadly Seven. We're all invited to a celebratory party on Jim Island. Oh, and Ghost, there's going to be a reward for you there. Come on, let's go. Huh? They left me here. Ah, uh, I'd bigger out, better figure out how to get to Jim Island. Okay, so long story short... This was the reason why I wanted to skip through everything, because we just had 10 minutes of pure, utter chaos. I don't know what happened, but apparently we have saved the world, and uh, everything's going back to normal, and we've been invited to a party, and it's just, we're getting towards the end of the game here. So, with that said, like I was saying, this game has given me a lot of aggravation, um, because there's a lot of things in this game that I really, really 
don't like because they don't really explain too much to you. All I know is that this part of the game here is very difficult, so I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. While I tell you guys, um, there is only a couple of people I think who have actually played through the game all the way. Um, most people have given up on this game a long time ago and decided not to play it. Which I do not blame them whatsoever. Um, because it has actually turned out to be a pretty annoying game, if I do say so myself. And um, the last few episodes have been one of the toughest episodes for me because they've been so annoying. There's so many things that you have to do in a certain way. And if you don't do it right, then, you know, other things will happen. I don't know. But apparently, now is the time when we have to teach our Pokemon Rock Smash. For no reason, because we're not going to use it. But I will go ahead and teach Gyarados Rock Smash here. Because apparently this next part, we were supposed to use Rock Smash on this rock. And there is a rock lobster here, who is apparently one of the legendary Pokemon in this game. Um, we are supposed to catch him. That is our goal, is to catch the rock lobster. So my main thing here is I'm just going to try to get as much damage off on this guy as possible. Um, without pretty much destroying him, because I need him to not be destroyed. Um, but it turns out he kind of needs to be really low before he can do anything. So I want to go ahead and now he's burned. Great. Great. I'm just going to start chucking some balls at this thing um, because I want to make sure I don't kill him. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go up here and save the game. Really quick, I need to save the state because if this thing dies I'm going to have to reload the state over and over and over again. And this is my last chance to catch it, and I didn't catch it. Okay. He's gonna die. And he's gonna not be here anymore, so we need to reload. Okay. So basically, I just have to keep throwing Pokeballs at him until I catch him. Which means I can either get really, really lucky or really not lucky. And I have to do this a million times over. And apparently he's not burnt anymore. So that's perfect. One thing I do want to do though is, once he kills um, Ninetales, I want to send out Raichu here to get a paralysis off on it. Actually, I don't have um, a move to do that, so I'm going to send a Breloom, so Breloom can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to actually, you know what, I think the Dive Balls were doing pretty good damage. Um, damage. What? The Dive Balls were pr doing pretty good, getting about three shakes, because... Um, it is used for Pokemon that hide underwater, and this thing is hiding underwater, so I'm going to go ahead and use these dive balls up, because we have plenty of them, before I go right into using the um, Ultra Balls, because we have plenty of those, we have 40 of those, and I'm sure with 40 of them we should be able to catch this thing. But in order to make the story go on, this is what we have to do. Um, so this part of the game can be the... Uh, walkthrough part of the game for any of you guys who are playing it yourselves because a lot of people come to this part of the game and they have absolutely no idea what to do whatsoever so I'm gonna go ahead and do it um, mostly because no one else knows how to do it except for a few people I've saw online that it can actually be done so I'm trying to figure it out myself and each episode I have to literally go through and find a video somewhere on the internet of someone who has been able to do this part of the game because without it I don't know what I would be doing. It's been very confu confusing up to this point and I'm trying to make the episodes you know not too boring and not too... oh of course you died. <sighs> This is going to take a while. I'm just going to keep throwing die balls at him. I mean, I don't really know what else to do. I think he has shed skin or something. I don't know. Because how did we get rid of that burn earlier? It's kind of confusing. Maybe I'll get lucky with one of these um, 
Ultra Balls or a Dive Ball or something. I really would like to skip this part so you guys don't have to keep watching me try to catch this guy. Um, but I can't exactly do that, <laughs> so it's a good thing that we did catch him. Alright, so we caught the Rock Lobster, so let's go ahead here and go back up. And now, the next part of the adventure that we have to go on to get to Jim Island is we have to get our old buddy here that we just caught. And we have to take the item from him. He is holding an item called Hard Disk Solo. Don't know what that is, but um, we'll figure it out in just a second because we actually have to use it here in just a second. I'm also going to go ahead and put our Quill Shark back on the team because I don't think we'll be needing dive anymore. Hopefully not. And I'm, I mean, I kind of would really like to use this thing, Dragon Rock type. Um, but considering we have a pretty good team right now, I think I'll skip out on that. So let's heal up our Pokemon. And our next order of business is to fly to... Actually, no, we can't fly. We have to surf. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a uh, Max Repel here. Because we have to surf all the way over to Slateport City. And we have to go up here. And we have a uh, Arclight Spanner. So we can use it to break this box here. And now we can go up to this part of the uh, city, which I don't think we were able to go to before. This uniform. It's the Hoenn Internal Affairs Army uniform. I'm a soldier, you see. The survivors are cluttered here in the market because these monsters... Sh Chefs can't stand food. The smell of our supplies keeps them at bay. Okay, I think we are actually able... No, we weren't. Okay. So, let's go ahead and actually talk to everybody around here. What? No, no. I'm not stealing from the supplies. Of course you're not. The food is running out. I'm so hungry. If there was just a little more food... Hi, hi. I'm the name reader. I will... do not need you, name reader. I need a powerful Pokemon so I can get out of the city. If you have a face leech, would you like to trade? I can give you a much like in exchange. After all, it's useless. Sorry, I don't have a face leech. And if I did, I'd probably want to keep it. They seem like the uh, Shedinja of this game. Energy guru, but I'm always an energy, but I'm ready for a customer. You know what? I have some things that I'd probably want to sell to you, actually. Um, Do we have anything, really, that we want to sell? I mean, we have some dumb things right here that we could sell, I guess. Just to get a few bucks. The food holds the chefs back, but we have to eat the food too. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Okay, now that we sold everything, that's good. Let's go check out all the buildings. And nobody's in here. Of course not. I knew that. Anybody in the Pokemon Mart? I could really use some supplies. No, but there is a vending machine here. So let's grab some lemonades while we are here. Just a few. Not many. Uh, nobody in the museum, of course. So I guess the rest of the town is just pretty much abandoned. And we know the name raider is down there. So the next part of our journey is to go up here. What the world? Porygon is clearly lost. Better leave it here, as it probably belongs to someone. You know what? I would definitely... I probably shouldn't walk on Cyclo Road. Okay. Whatever. I definitely want to explore around a little bit, even though I know exactly what I need to do. Oh, okay, so I don't have a bike? Whatever. So let's go up here, this is the next part of our journey. Pokemon Center though, nice spot for one. Even though we already healed, I just want to make sure that I heal up again. I feel like we've been here before, but I guess not. So this is where we need to go next. We place the hard disk solo on the rock. Music began to play. Sounds familiar. What's this? And there we go. We got ourselves the gym tickets. So in order to use those gym tickets, we have to... If you guys remember, there was a boat down here. On this area down here of Fortree City. 
where this girl was standing and she would just say hi I'm you know whatever her name was and there was really nothing we could do there but now we can actually go ahead and use the gym tickets Gabriella those are the gym tickets why do you have two anyway those tickets mean I can take you to Jim Island hop on and let's go so here we go we are traveling to Jim Island uh, hello? A rock! Well, we'll see who's tougher in the end. Okay. Funny. Take that, unwanted rock! If only they could do that in the real games. Alright, we have arrived on Jim Island. Finally, this is where Asimov wanted us to go. Before we talk to him, I'm going to... Go ahead and talk to everybody here. Ooh, a gym. Hello. Replacement Pokemon gym. License to kill. You know what? I don't know if I'm supposed to go there yet, so let's just go up and talk to Asimov. Ghost, you made it here. Where is everyone? Wasn't there meant to be a party? Yeah, you kind of missed it. What? But it was my in my honor. Well, you snooze you lose. I've still got this present for you, though. Okay, finally getting HMO4, which is what? Well, I'll be off. I have work to do. Well, this was a disappointment. Still, I suppose I can at least challenge these gyms. HMO4 is what? Strength. Okay. Ah, uh, there are sure are some mighty powerful trainers here, that's for sure. By golly. Is there something wrong with your voice? There is nothing wrong with his voice. Here's a gym up here. And let's see, let's see. Some houses. Let's go talk to this house. Hello. Your brother and his girlfriend. Oh, they've gone far away. I don't know where. Okay. Interesting. A meteorite. If you had a Deoxys, you could totally bring it here and change its form. But you don't, so you can't ever. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. The TV was on, though, so maybe I can... Dad might like this program. Uh, never mind. I thought that had something to do with the story, but I guess not. Okay. Anything I can do? All the Lonely Faces. Where are... All the Lonely Faces. Where do they all come from? Oh, okay. Alright, well, it looks like there's nothing we can really do here besides take on gems. Um, it looks like there's three gems so far. I've seen three. Pokemon Center, there's four, there's number four. I want to set fire to a nun. Please don't tell anyone. Secret safe with me, buddy. What is this? Okay. Well, let's take on this guy real quick. And his level 85, uh, Zebstrika. Who just happens to be sitting here. I don't know why, but he just happens to be sitting here. Doing nothing. Hurt yourself, or not. Okay. Fine with me. I will go ahead and use Earthquake with my Claytol and automatically just destroy you. Okay. I gotta come down here, because I gotta see what's down here. Don't need you to be doing that. This looks like the, uh, whatchamacallit. This is it, the open air, the charming sea, the great gym island stadium. This looks like the uh, the place in the after game on Emerald, you know, where you uh, where you come to do all the post game stuff, like the Battle of Frontier, whatever it's called. Whoa, there is a this is a big, huge place. I'm Lou Bega. You are so not. Guess you are so not. Burn, burn it all down until there's nothing left. Boy, these people are just a bucket load of conversation. I can't wait until the stadium opens. I was at Clown College in Kanto when the invasion came. You can imagine my surprise when I came home. Yep, had to be a surprise. And here is another gym. Wow, there are a lot of gyms here. Okay, so apparently that's the stadium down there that we can't get to. Not that I know of, we can't. 
I don't think there's a way around it, but I don't think we can get down to it. Um, so basically, I think all that we have left to do is take on all of these gems. So I think I'll go ahead and end the episode off here. Um, it looks like we have a bunch of gems to take on. And I think we might actually finally be done with the game after that. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. And I will see you guys next time in some more Pokemon Snakewood.